So I think for the doctors, it was a bit about putting a human face on their profession. They're proud of what they do. So I'll have a dead baby in me? For three days, yeah. Will it start to decay or something? Oh, it's like putting meat in a crock pot, okay? In a slow and, cooker. And what do you use to break it up? Just oh, a whole what bunch you of it. <laughs> <laughs> Got a you tool know, kit. Pick, uh, axe, a drill, but you know. <laughs> So what kind of procedure would I have to get then? It would be the same thing we do here. Um, it's just it would be um, a combination between a D&E and &E an and induction. We would try to induce you to just deliver the baby. How do you do it? Like, because she said some, the nurse said something about a shot. We do Is a shot into the fetus to end the pregnancy the first day. Well, if everything works right, they come out. You just deliver them and they come out fine. Okay. I mean, if if um, if for some reason that doesn't happen, then we have to take them out in pieces. So the injection is what you stick inside the through the, your tummy through, through my the stomach. Yeah. And does the the needle hurt? You? Me? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. But you probably won't remember it. Most people end up asking me what the band is for the next day. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, and then, um. Will I feel it like dying? Hmm? It's no. not even going to feel it dying. It's just the heart slows down and it just stops. Because I already feel it like yeah, it's moving kicking now. and moving. And After 20 weeks it should be. So I won't feel it like moving or anything? No, like probably within, within an hour of the injection you shouldn't feel it moving anymore. Am I going to be like in a lot of pain afterwards? Do you know? You shouldn't be in any pain afterwards. Okay. And there are no restrictions afterwards except for nothing in your vagina for three weeks. Okay. Because I tell everybody that includes fingers, friends, and fruit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We haven't even, I've never had to send anybody to the hospital with my patients, so. Oh really? Yeah, and the Kristen Gilbert thing on the internet is a, uh, was not my patient. Morbelli, a substitute teacher from New Rochelle, died last Thursday after reports say she underwent the procedure in Maryland, where late-term abortions are legal. It was performed by Dr. Leroy Carhart, one of the few late-term abortion providers in the country. The first-time mom, who was eight months along, was mourned Wednesday morning in her hometown. They've got this down as a fetal indication. There's nothing wrong with the baby that you know of. Is Not that I know of. Okay, I don't know where that came from or how that got in here. Does that mean fetal indication? Means there's something wrong with the baby oh, and that's okay. why you're terminal. Yeah. This no. is just purely Purely, directive. this is what I want to do. And here, <coughs> we cannot do it. But in Maryland, we can do it. So but, baby, but at this age, at, what am I, 26 weeks? 26. Could not survive if it was if delivered? It out, yeah. Oh yeah, probably. Probably could, probably, it would be a 50-50 thing, probably. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. But we're okay. We can do, by law in Maryland, we can go to 28 weeks. So. Oh, okay. Are there, so there's only four of you there that do? There are only do? four doctors doing over 26 weeks. Why are there only four? Because nobody else will do it. So you don't see a lot of women like me? Well, I saw four this week. Okay. So. At 26 weeks? Yeah. Wow. Or more. All right. So I'm not unusual. No, not at okay. all. And the baby will come through. It'll compress down and come through that because it's not alive. And it so when you say compress down, it just it gets soft like mushy. Oh. So you put you push it through. So what makes the baby mushy? The fact the fact that it's not alive for two or three oh. days. So I'll have a dead baby in me for three days. Yeah. Will it start to decay or something? No. Oh. Well, I, I, <laughs> So it's like putting meat in a crock pot. Okay, it doesn't get it doesn't get broke, but it gets gets softer. It doesn't get infected or. Okay, you know. so the dead baby in me is like it's meat in a crock pot. Pretty much, yeah, kind of much. All right, all right. And, and what was it that killed it? 
The, I, the injection that the, we do. The first into one? It. The second one. Oh, the second one. I, I mean, I've done some when the women can't have that shot if they're alive. I mean, it just, you know, I'm sure the baby feels a needle stick if the baby feels anything, oh. and I truly don't believe that it does at 26 oh. weeks. For some I've reason, never had I'm not able to deliver. Well, you'll be able to get it out, and take it out in, in pieces. pieces. But, that, but that, at 26 weeks, is very, very rare. And what do you use to break it up? Just well, the whole what bunch of it. <laughs> Got a you toolkit. Know, a drill, but, you know. <laughs> I see. So, okay. No, I mean, there's all. It's just instru instruments that have been developed. So if that did happen, you'd make sure I didn't have like a hand left in there or something. Yes, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I can't it's promise. It's like a Hollywood that. movie I waiting. Would, yeah, I, I mean, but I would certainly tell you that we will do everything in our best to make sure there's nothing left behind. Okay, so it's just like a normal delivery. Except the baby's not alive. Okay, so the baby's dead. And what makes it safer is the fact that I only have the, you to worry about. So whatever I have to do oh. to the baby to keep you healthy, I can do. I'd have better luck standing in front of a train and getting hit and surviving than, than going 100 miles an hour than the baby. Because you're dilating me, which means I'm getting ready to go into labor. Right. If I'm at the hotel and I were to go into labor... You call me. Call you. We're, we we okay. can whenever we have to. Oh, all right. We're on your schedule. Oh, thank you. So I... Call 911 and then call you? Uh, no. Would you no. Call 911? No. I don't know. It's an emergency, <laughs> right? Yeah, they'll take you to the hospital, right? They won't, they won't bring you to the clinic. So. Okay. No, just you're going to be within 10 minutes or 15 minutes of the clinic. Just get in the car. Call me. Call you. Okay. All right. If, you, if we think you need 911, then certainly call 911. But that. Call you first. <laughs> don't call 911. Yeah, yeah. What happens if I deliver at the hotel? Well, we came and helped her clean up the mess and took the sheets to the uh, clinic and washed them and sent her back to the hotel and okay. she was fine. But if I do um, end up going into labor like this woman, you'll come you help do, clean it up? We'll come get, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you'll take the baby away? And yeah, we'll take that one. Okay. And we'll give you a whole, we'll give everybody a little pack to put stuff in in case it does happen. But as I said, a pack? One person, a pack of little drapes and, and sheets and gloves and all those things oh. so you could, if you had to do something that you could. Okay, so if but, I, for any reason I did, you've given me... You've, you've already got the stuff to take care of. A bag to put the baby in there. Okay. I mean, this baby is a part of you forever. Okay. I mean, if you expect it to go away in a week, that's the wrong approach to it, okay? How do you think, I'll, when you say I'll be affected? I think you'll be affected for the positive. I think you have, I think you can make very difficult, hard decisions that help shape the life, the rest of your future, and make you work harder for the things you know that are important. Okay. And I think out of respect and love and honor for this baby that you've lost, you will find yourself being a better person. Postpartum depression is really very common, but post-abortion depression, I can honestly tell you that I haven't seen one, one person that way. Oh, okay. We had a 16-year-old girl that was pregnant in 26 or 7 weeks that we and we did that the determination for. And she tried to kill herself, and she got to the hospital and recovered. And she tried to kill herself not because of the termination, but because of the baby that she had before this. It was already a year old oh. that she wished she had not had that baby. Is I've he? not had anybody leave there feeling worse than they came. Uh, Good to that's, know. That's serious. Okay. Well, thank you and, very and much. I've had one woman who died in the, in the clinic. Okay. She was a oh, lot you farther did? along with you. And, but in the coroner, it was reported to the coroner and everything, and they said, yes, yeah, she died. Of, again, of complications of the pregnancy, but not from the abortion. Everything from the abortion went fine. <laughs> Well, it turns out that complications from a late-term abortion did cause the death of a New Rochelle woman. A report from the chief medical examiner in Maryland says 29-year-old Jennifer McKenna Morbelli died earlier this month after amniotic fluid seeped into her bloodstream. The clinic and the doctor who performed the procedure are now being investigated.